Hello there, YouTube. Uh, I'm here today to do a review of a V-nailer. Uh, I noticed today that my review of this V-nailer had actually gotten a fair amount of views. So, seeing as I have two of them now, I thought I'd review this one too. Uh, a while back, this is my Mighty, M-E-I-T-E. Uh, I think there's a few brands that are the same Chinese gun. That, um, but yeah, this is what mine looks like from Amazon. It's like 170 bucks. Um, a while ago, a couple months ago, wasn't firing right. Uh, I have to have one of these going at all times. So I ordered a backup and I have been contacted by this company telling me about their nailer. I thought they were looking to have me review one, but I kept responding to them and never heard back. But um, I decided because this one had failed that maybe I should just try theirs. So I ordered one of these, it was about the same price, about 170 bucks. Um, and I've been using it for a while and I wanted to tell you guys about it. It's kind of nice because I have two different thickness of stretcher bars. So now instead of constantly switching, I have one set of nails in here, one set of nails in here. This is the Kamsin, K-A-M-S-I-N. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, they basically do the same thing. But I will say, in the month that I've had this, I have had far less misfires. And there's one really cool feature about this gun that this gun does not have. So, yes, I have two guns, so I'm able to have a different size fastener in each one. But for those people with one gun and two different size fasteners, this gun's kind of a pain in the butt. To change the fasteners, you take this thing off and you have to pull this slide out um, and put it in a different slot for the different length nails. Put it back together. This gun just has this little latch right here. Slides back and forth to four different spaces. There's a little window that shows you the measurement of the nails that it is set for. So it's really slick when you're swap swapping out nails. This one does not call for oil anywhere on the gun. The instruction manual is in a language I do not understand. Now, as somebody who's been a carpenter for 20 plus years, there are a lot of guns that don't require oil and using oil is actually not good for them. So with the bigger name, no <coughs> excuse me, with the bigger name nail guns, I've always just looked for the words, oil daily. Um, generally on something like a, you know, a Senko gun or a, uh, uh, DeWalt or something like that. If it requires oil daily, which most do, it will say so specifically on the gun right around the air hole, which this one does not either. But this one specifically in the manual said to oil daily, I remember. So I oil this one daily. This one I do not. Um, so if the manufacturers of this gun are watching this video and I'm wrong, please point it out in the comments below. But so far, I have not had any issues. Um, it also has this nice uh, spacer right here. It kind of holds it, hold it flat. I use this on my thinner stretcher bars. If I was the thick ones, it would not be effective. It would shoot it in at an angle, but this actually works, works pretty good. Um, so yeah, the Kampson V-nailer, pneumatic V-nailer, um, for stretcher bars, picture frames, stuff like that, when you don't want to have a giant press. I don't have space for that, and I have a compressor, so this thing is awesome. This thing's pretty awesome too, but this one does misfire. Generally, if the nails get low, if there's only like a dozen nails in there or so, I'll get some weird firing issues, so I just have to make sure this one's tasteful. This one I have yet to have any issue at all, so. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you next time. Thank you.